He's had it six months. Or to the record of the U.S. House of Representatives, even though the nine times it's been proposed to change that, all soundly defeated. Since 2000. Do the actions of the U.S. Senate in standing up for the supreme law of the land match the record? And you wonder why politicians, and you wonder why you're angry at politicians. Well, shouldn't you be angry at your actions in building up the kingdom of God? The kingdom is the political kingdom. I'm not talking about the church. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Now let me ask you this other question. If the Savior came today, the Savior Jesus Christ, in your polluted and corrupted state, how would you expect Him to receive you in your actions for the U.S. Supreme Law of the Land, United States Constitution, in your actions in defense of the Supreme Law of the Land. I mean, we get down to the basics here. You're citizens. You're responsible. You're accountable. What is your record? What is my record? But one of faithfulness and righteousness what is your record and how are you going to face the Savior, the King, His Majesty, Lord of hosts, the Creator of the earth and the heaven? How have you represented yourself in defending the U.S. Supreme Law of the land? Where has your money gone? To the lukewarm churches? The lukewarm because they have abandoned the law of consecration they have abandoned the poor they have abandoned the needy they have abandoned the meek they have usurped the authority of God in unrighteousness teaching by the precepts of men rather than God? What's their responsibility? What is their accounting if it is not to God in his holy perfection in the way that he, while he was on earth, set up the church? And you wonder why I tell you to come out of the churches in your support? Oh, you can go to the church, be sociable, but come out of the church in your contributions and your actions of support come out of the whore of Babylon so what would you expect the Lord Jesus Christ to do would he be pleased with your actions? If he came today, there's so many Christians out there right now that are thinking, oh my God, every single day, is today going to be the rapture? Are we going to go home today and be received by the Lord Jesus Christ in his majesty and his holiness and his righteousness and his faithfulness? As, 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 as what? corrupted citizens of the United States of America 
Is that your testimony? O oh Lord, receive us in our unrighteousness. We want to receive the kingdom and the mansions that thou hast prepared for us, but we haven't defended it worth a fuck during our time on earth. Is that your record? I am asking you reasonably What gives you the right to receive celestial glory as the Lord's celestial glory? And all that my Father have, you can also have. What did the Lord pay? Did he not pay the price? He paid the price for forgiveness, for his ability to forgive. He did not pay the price for you to walk in sin all the days of your life and not repent. Forgiveness is given on the, in the balance of repentance. That means you change and you don't go back in sin anymore. That's what forgiveness is given for. You know what? I am so sorry, Lord. I'm going to change my ways right now. I'm going to dedicate my funds, my actions, my work, all my belongings, everything to you. Now, what is the Lord's reward for that kind of? Dedication, faithfulness. Versus the actions of being stingy, greedy, oppressive, and fighting and representing usurpation and apostasy. Slander. backbiting, gossip, evil deeds. Evil actions, unholy actions, and you expect to receive the Lord Jesus Christ, His Majesty, for a reward? What reward do you think you have coming in your actions of support for the kingdom? Only one man in the United States of America, one, stood up against the Republicans and Democrats in a court of law and took that clear to the U.S. Supreme Court. That's the highest court you can go to. After that, where does it go? Where does it go? But to the altar of God. And how do you think the Lord shall judge those actions in the balances of justice. Well, I'm just a little peon and I can't really make a difference with my support. I was just a little peon, Lord, and I couldn't vote. Is that your cop out? Or is your vote? that is recorded in heaven for apostasy and for usurpation, for unholiness, for unrighteousness. You 
gotta pull the beam out of your eye before you can pull the splinter out of mine. Is not chastisement. Is not my chastisement the opportunity for you to repent and change? Is not the chastisement of the Lord worthy of thanks and appreciation? What is chastisement? Hey! You're going over here. You're going to hell. I want you to come over here and go to heaven. I want you to receive celestial glory. You have the opportunity. Plain and simple. It's plain and simple. And what would you expect differently from the Lord Jesus Christ if he came now do you realize or have you considered that the Lord Jesus Christ is not born in the United States of America to US citizen parents do you understand that Do you understand why even in the law of the land, the supreme law of the land in this country, the United States of America, that Jesus Christ is not qualified to run for the office of the president? Do you understand that? And so what are you expecting from the Lord Jesus Christ in promoting freedom, liberty, and choice but that he send someone who is qualified and under his authority who can represent righteousness and faithfulness. Why would you not expect that? What do you expect? Do you want the the Lord Jesus Christ to, to come down from heaven in his glory and set it not all the laws of the land by force and just destroy the wicked <clears throat> well he says he will do that but it's choice and freedom and liberty that he's represented in establishing this great nation and under the laws you'd expect the Lord to act by and through the laws he's established through his servants would you not anybody with a record like mine coming forward and how is it not a proper, appropriate saying that you need to repent and change? How is it not an appropriate reasonable action of the Lord to establish someone from among you. And are my actions not worthy? Are my actions corrupt? Corrupted in the law of the land? It's a cop out. It's a cop out for you to think the Lord establishing the United States Constitution would not abide by the law.
Does it make sense? And do you not understand that those in seats of power elected have the burden for the truth, for righteousness, for holiness to the Lord? Is the Lord's anger against you justified? What is your record? You can, what we we discussed my record. Won't you make a video and make your own record? I'm Cody Robert Judy, and I'll talk to you next. This is a voice crying in the wilderness. Repent! Repent! And be counted worthy of the Lamb.